Greetings, Oinon. Welcome to Secret Agent Agency. It is I, your horror specs, Kevin. And joining me is my very special Oinon, Andrew. Are you up there? Hey there. And Jihoon. Are you with are we us? Chopping, are we chopping onions? Yeah. Okay. Onions, huh? What? Go, onion! Okay, so... Uh, I don't remember see, what was happening. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, last time on Pathologic, um, we... Wanted to go see what was up with the Canes and also the military commander who... Oh, yeah, the military arrived in town, right? And they, they saved our asses. And uh, uh, the the main military guy was very interested in what was going on with the polyhedron. We decided to ask the Canes about it because also Victor sent us a, le a letter. Uh-oh. And... Yeah. Life comes at you fast. And I gotta figure out where I want to sleep really fast. Straight ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. So we we asked the Canes, and they're all preparing for some weird reincarnation ritual. Uh, that's really all we know about. There's not like a whole lot of information to go off of for that. Uh, wow. Game's extra, extra, right now. Um. Okay, so that's that story. Uh, we, we went to check on the polyhedron, and the kids there wanted guns, so they could bluff uh, having a lot of guns to the army, in case the army tried anything funny. Uh, so we, we, we went and got five guns for, for little kids. They wanted rifles, not revolvers, so... You know, good for them. We are we are in the town's children. Okay. And speaking of guns, uh, there is some plot line with the women in town. Uh, Lara Ravel, one uh, typically a pretty peaceful and naive lady, uh, wanted a uh, sidearm with which to attempt to assassinate the army commander. We haven't seen the result of that yet, but basically through uh, some ingenuity of the other townsfolk, we ended up giving her, like, a fake gun. Uh, so it's, like, not gonna do anything, and then, like, also the army commander, like, agreed that if somebody tries to assassinate him, he'll just, like, throw them in jail or whatever. Oh, wait, wake, wake, uh, I want some drugs. I want it that way. All right, get alarm meters. Whoa. My phone says hello. I'm sorry. I will move my phone. Oh, uh, does your phone alarm check? go off in game? Bzz, bzz. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we, we gave... Lara, a fake gun, and we received three panaceas for our trouble. Panacea is what we will use to heal our bound when they get sick, and that is how we... That, that is a factor that contributes to getting a good ending. Um, okay. What well, is good ending? Yeah, so there is a side quest that we did not pick up yesterday, and that was um, the Inquisitor lost track of... Um, Artemi Barak, the higher specs. So we could have, and perhaps should have, paid him a little visit inside the Termitary, but we didn't have time to do so with all the gun intrigue going on. So we, in this timeline, we decided to skip him. We did not visit him. That progress was not saved. Yeah, I think I got thrown off because of, like, reloading shit. Yeah. Okay, last time. Oh, we have full stacks of empty bottles. Uh, no, we don't. We don't have any empty bottles, and we don't have room ah. to pick one up because I picked okay. up the guy's like flammable liquid. That's probably okay. Uh, at this point, I'm just waiting for the seven o'clock letter. Hmm. 
I guess I can go ahead and check on the Inquisitor. She did give us a letter last night asking us to check out the tower, and it's like, huh, well, wait a minute. I feel like we had that conversation. But we don't have anything else to do for the next five minutes, so could head that way. Yeah, did I get? <laughs> did I get it? I told you I get a better computer. Oh no! First Tekken taking uh, the life of a machine, and now fucking pathologic of all things. Pandemic, y'all. It's infected your computer. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm hitting the X. <laughs> all right, boys. I I know. I gotta get you back up on Discord. I'll get there. Let's try this again. Huh. I did. I did do a save. <laughs> okay. Technical difficulties. Traces. Are like torrents in the background? What are you up to? Yeah. Uh. I have open office and uh, Photoshop open. I guess that's my bad. Oh my god! Open office is one thing, but Photoshop? Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. What? 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 Stream. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what the, happened? Mo the moment I switched over to the game, I immediately fired my rifle. So I'm like, hold on, hold, hold. <laughs> No ammo I wasted, yeah. Yeah. It's 300 bucks. Okay, that's better. Alright. Do, you know, do you know how, much, how hard to get a bullet now. in this economy? How much is a bullet anyway? IRL ammo went up a shit ton, dude. Oh, for real? Dang. It may have gone down now, I don't know, but. Sorry. How long uh, after I'm the just home? gonna call that one spent because uh, I wasn't like in the window. <sighs> Stupid. Wait, so how much is a bullet? Average price of bullet <laughs> in real life? It depending on where and what type of ammunition you're talking about. Because um, I know everything with like handgun ammunition was like freaking sold out last year when I was trying to get some for uh, work. Oh yeah. I was oh, like, you know, the, I own? went to the place. Uh huh? Yeah, with the procurement card. And oh, okay. I, purchased yeah. it. I was like, okay. literally the shelves were empty and the only ammunition that was up was long gun ammo. Which, I mean, yeah. Wow, I didn't know you had to like buy like that. I thought they had like stack in the back or something. So uh, had, to a certain extent we did, but the ammunition we had at the time was not conducive to what we use it for, with our test fires. The, um, uh, the test fires we do, I'm not going to go super in-depth with it, but, like, you look at the strike mark on the primer of the casing, which is probably all foreign gibberish, probably don't even know any of what I'm talking about, but if the manufacturer of the ammunition already has markings on the primer, that interferes with you know, looking under a microscope at the can press from the firing pin. So it needs to be a certain types of ammo, and that's not what they had in the armory. It says right. science hour with Andrew. There you go. Those firing pin strike marks. The of the impossible take the stage to discuss captured miracles. What? Creators of the game. I, got, I went in there to uh, escape a rat. Uh, reset the rat. So what does Florida ounce mean anyway? Oh, Florida ounces? I saw that post on Reddit. Yeah, fluid ounces. Uh, I was like, what the fuck is it talking about again? Oh, 
Oh my god, I didn't even actually click the link. Oh, that's so fucking funny, dude. These guys are just straight up murdering people. Murder! Murder, she wrote. I'm oh, glad he didn't get a double and kill you. He makes room for these empty bottles. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I found out something really funny about this game. If you're infected, you know how the guys, like, burn you? Yeah. Apparently, that does actually cure the plague if they burn you enough. It has a chance of removing uh, your infection. They burn it out of you. Uh, the only the only trouble is, like, surviving it. Mm. But that is a way to cure your own plague, is to get it burned out of you. Is there a stop, drop, and there roll button? There is an internal order that no. itself has well, to be determined. Fuck. It is due to this order that things happen the way they should, following a preordained path. Bachelor, I would like you to explain a certain important point to me. You have a close relationship with the Canes, do you not? Do you like the Canes? Do you? It's, like, it's the family, right? Yeah. Why do you ask? Because they are obviously very fond of you. Maria is in love with you. That's as clear as day. Even though it makes no sense if my knowledge of her future plans is correct. Victor has gone so far as to entrust you with some final family matter. Georgi speaks of you with great sympathy. And so? The Canes will help us, if they are still capable of anything at all, that is. To gather the necessary documents concerning that unusual structure, the polyhedron. Why do you need those documents? Are you joking? How am I supposed to work without documents? Firstly, I need to draw up a so-called Inquisitor's Argument, which will contain documental evidence providing the rationale for my decision. There could be a tribunal, and it's not something to be trifled with. And secondly... And secondly, that blasted block turned out to be not as dim-witted as I expected. He's taking advantage of my youth and weakness, and has decided to ascertain the validity of my decisions himself, without having a shred of understanding, of course, and of course doubting me from the very start. Very well. What documents do you need? I can swing my office depot. <laughs> Basically, I need to know what that structure is. I need all documents pertaining to that building. There's probably a connection between its fantastic form and the fantastic events that have taken place. Where could those blueprints be? The Canes surely know everything. Maybe they keep copies of the blueprints. After all, that chimera was built under their patronage. Let them be the ones to make excuses now. I don't think so. That structure is a product of Peter Stamatton's wild imagination. I'll speak with him. Okay, cool. Gonna speak to the crazy guy. Yeah. Do we have any letters yet? What's our quest like? Okay, so that's our, uh... Yeah. Our main quest? Yeah. Oh yeah, we also picked up a quest uh, last night uh, via um, Mark and Martel. <laughs> Since we're here, we might as well talk to the canes anyway, right? They're gonna our homies. Georgie! I'm Giorgio. Old. Nothing can harm me anymore. My name's Giorgio. Dun, 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 dun. What do you want? I don't recognize you, Judge. You've changed. Okay, cool. Bye! Good talk. Yep. Nice chat. Alright, Victor, open up. Knock, knock. If we conquer our passions, it is more from their weakness than from our strength. My consciousness has not completely returned to me yet. I can hardly imagine how much 
must have changed here since then. I would see it would be better not to disturb you now. Is that going to fail us out of a quest? No. Alright. So, I guess the ritual worked. That is a fucking weirdo. Rat jam. Hey, you! Oh, mother. Why can't you be here with us? One blow after another, Clara is becoming a mistress of the earth. A dreadful one, too. She's ruthless and cruel. Fanatics believe her. And she'd happily burn us all at stakes. I can feel this horrible heat with my very skin. Horrible heat? Do you have a fever? I'm falling asleep, my Daniel. These aren't my final hours, but rather my final minutes. Soon I shall close my eyes for several days, and then there will be a different me. A very different me. For now it's Father, who's holding the scarlet lava in his chest. The lava that is to fill me to the brim. It will burn him. But oh, how beautiful it is. Let me touch your foot, forehead. It's hot! The changeling is robbing us of the most precious thing. She's dowsing Peter's genius. She's tempting him, sowing the destructive seeds of doubt in his weakened soul. Her rhetoric can easily drive him mad. How do you know about it? She has been trying for a long time now. He sent me a crazy verse letter, a love letter I won't show you. He, he says he's breaking down. He cannot stand it anymore, but I cannot help him either. The changeling gnaws at him like a worm. This is all Aglaia is doing. She has sent her. What is she saying to him? Now he believes that he is to blame for everything. She accused him of taking a miracle captive, not letting go of that which is supposed to have faded, tying a bird that was supposed to fly off, forcing himself on the guest that cannot live here any longer. I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. Uh, this dude. is ridiculous. I fear Peter will die today. She's referring to Peter Stamatt and the architect. If that yeah. happens, a part of the world will peter out with him. What the fuck? Is that a pun? An everlasting, irreparable loss. There has never been, and never will be, an architect like him. How can I make him change his mind? Tell him that I am turning into a mistress. Tell him that I can feel the scarlet lava. Tell him I am ready to accept it into my womb. Tell him my mother is looking at me now. I shall become her. I shall overcome her. And I shall build what he conceived. That is why I'll preserve the tower. Tell him. I feel he's with Andre now. I will. I was going to visit Andre anyway. Bye! Cool. <clears throat> oh, she's all smiling now. Yeah. We made her happy. She's happy after saying her piece. Well... Literally everyone in town seems to believe she has a crush on me, so... <laughs> okay, uh, so I guess we're checking out Peter. And yeah, I'm aware our health is low, I'll uh, try to find uh, a decent way to refill it. You just need not get hit anymore. No. Like that. No, don't you gotta dodge that. I hate that these guys' knives are more accurate than my gun. A real good aim. Yeah. So Jihu, what do you make of all this? The situation with the canes? Trust no one. There you go. Trust no one, not even yourself, mean. At this point, oh, yeah. I forgot to... 
post when I made this one. I made egg, egg fried rice with uh, beef. Ooh. It's like leftover, um, like pot roast kind of thing. I was trying to get lined up with this face if you're wondering why I was retreating so much. <laughs> that sounds that sounds good. What the fuck is happening over here? Suggestions. Come on. Stuck in place. It's target practice. I do a very good job of it though. Yay! As long as we're getting over 500 bucks a bullet, we're doing, we're, or bullet positive. So much shooting. <laughs> Invisible treadmill, yes. <laughs> Invisible treadmill. <laughs> gotta get those steps in where they count, man. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Hope you're doing all right. <laughs> Oh, let's type egg fired rice. <laughs> you tell me an egg fried that rice? That'd be impressive. Hell yeah. Glad you're doing well now. Oh, 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 oh god! <laughs> Help! That was three clouds all in like one area. Okay, this actually isn't where I want to go. I panic navigated as I want to do. Oh my god, fucking rat. I'll get a grocery store. Jesus. Oh my god, why is. Uh, let's see, drugs. Munch, 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 munch. There. Not an imminent danger. I think I posted it alright. I only use three eggs. I don't know if I should use more. Daniel be like me leaving the grocery store and just be like, damn, I'm hungry. Munching it. Never go grocery shopping while hungry. Oh yeah, that is a rule number one. You grab all the wrong shit. Mm-hmm. Just passing by. Alright, Peter, open up. Open one, motherfucker. Uh oh. Name. Let's establish your identity first. I am Bachelor Dunkowski, an authorized representative of the Inquisitor, head of the sanitary staff. Your company commander should have informed you. Right. So what are you here for? I'm here on assignment from General Block. Report the situation. Our immediate commanding officer is Captain Lo Longin, commander of the 15th Company. He is in charge of investigating the attack on the Flamethrower Corps Sanitary Patrol. Any more questions? You're telling me that General Block has no authority over you. He'll be excited to find out. We're going to find the offender sooner or later anyway. We already have tactical data suggesting one of the offenders is hiding in the ruined building in the central part of town and is presenting armed resistance. I suggest you cooperate in his arrest. Or else. Huh. 
He'll come back very soon. Wait, and he'll be here. So looking for him. He has a interesting face. Some something's off about his his face. Okay. Seems happy though. I like seeing people smiling. <laughs> Even in bad situations, you can find joy. I think it would be a lot happier. I think if I were holding a rifle right now. Uh, this is okay, my so rifle. we have. This is my gun. <laughs> So we have kind of an idea of where he is, but I also just want to briefly uh, check the pub. And there is a decent reason for it uh, that will come up later. There is a different grocery store, right? Yes. Give me your hazelnut. Thanks, Thanks friend. Nuts. Damn. What's up, dude? Give me your coffee beans, your twirene, and a flower. Nope. No flower? Okay. Out of space. Out of space. Yeah, gonna want that twirene for later. Hey, dude. Allegory haven't talked to you in like a week. Well, that's one straightforward allegory. Way too straightforward. We get it. Oh, just the person I wanted to see. We've had quite an adventure here. My knife loves strife. It has a gripe with the type filled with tripe. So tell me, what would be best? Should I drag my little brother over here to always have him by my side? Or rather move to his place? Do you know already what happened to your brother? Of course I do. And how do you know? Tell me about this adventures of yours, will you? <clears throat> You see, my dear brother is seeing pink elephants. He's talking to Bobbles. The conversation seemed to be enlightening, too. He mostly does the listening, and so he got it into his head, as far as I understood. He decided that he was at his limit and wanted to try his luck. Is he in a crisis? Let me guess. It started yesterday? He's been getting uncanny ideas. He wanted to pay visits to all his early... <laughs> works. I mean the ugly ruins, the stairways to heaven that are scattered around the town. He said he needed to find the ideal place for something. I have no idea what he has in mind. What the fuck? I love the middle answer. <laughs> they always want some pills. Wait for me here. Don't go anywhere. I'll find him. Okay, yeah, so we got some hints there, uh, you know all like those stairways to just nothingness that don't make yep. any sense? He's, he's gonna be at one of them. Okay. You already know which one, or you have like a rough idea? Uh, it's gonna be kind of a rough idea. Okay. Uh, in addition to like there being multiples of those, there's also another factor that will kind of throw us off, but we'll, we'll make do. Yeah, here, here's one of the buildings up here. Trying to see if I can see over the fence. Really? Oh, A Andy's here. Uh, okay, F5. Here we go. Okay. Solid. The, the fire was in your mind. Dude, what's your deal? <laughs> 
send me the dark blue flame. I desire to burn down, not in earthly, but in heavenly fire. So please, do bring me the spicy spirit. Bring me my smoky, dense, odorous sap. I want to burn myself in Twyrene. Alcohol is too flammable, Peter. Let's not take unnecessary risks. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> How about some water? No. <laughs> but thou must. <laughs> what about some water? You look like hell, mate. So you've changed your mind and become the master of cremations after all? Is this how you want to die? Silence! Listen to my confession. I'd rather confess to you than to her. Listen, and I shall tell you of what I'd managed to create. When I studied architecture, for the longest time, I remained passive and didn't do or make anything at all, except observations. It always seemed to me that any house is so much more than walls, a hearth, and a roof. <laughs> I like how I can interpret that second one. It's like, man, it's hot out here. Let's just go into some shade. I'm listening. At last, I realize that any building is an edifice, a concurrence of planes, lines, rhythms, and temperatures that can become a perfect vessel for a soul. Not a human soul, no, a bigger one, the soul that no man can communicate with yet, for it has no shape, cycle, or voice. Are you referring to an intelligent being? I don't know. Neither did I know or experience the soul back then. I only sensed its existence and loved it in advance. When my passion reached its zenith, I realized I just couldn't live like that any longer. I wanted to speak its tongue. I wanted to touch it. Peter, this heat is intolerable. How can you stand it? And how could I stand that which was burning me from the inside all these years? No, no, you're a medical man, a cynical man, a geometrician. You're not a poet. You'll never understand. You cannot see the profound. You fear death. Well, no, I don't. But go on. And, I, and so I gradually began to try. He just, he just goes on. He sure yep. does. I, tr I started to design buildings that were not buildings. Chambers that people couldn't live in. Everyone thought I was either a madman or a joke. Only my brother believed in me. He and the few that were privy to my secret. They knew that my designs were not intended for men, but rather for this wondrous soul. And what came out of that? Finally, I understood that I was on the right track. I knew I have discovered an insane but genuine feature that only a lover can feel. And I knew I was striking true. I constructed project after project, but all of them contravened the laws of earthly physics and geometry. Seems like my beloved soul was unlikely to find permanent shelter on this earth. Why? <laughs> <laughs> chimeras. They were all chimeras. Nobody would have allowed me to mo to even model them, if not for Nina the Wild. Oh, that's when my brother and I met her. She married Victor, went to live here, and provided me with everything. The place, the materials, the working hands, and most importantly, the hearts willing to believe in miracles. I love this option, by the way. What do you mean? Uh, so when he says Nina the Wild, he's referring to Victor Kane's wife and Maria's mother. I mean that buildings demand people. Moreover, they demand the people that would demand those buildings back. Museums, showpieces, models, abstractions, mind games. These are all not my cuts of Twyrene. Nina gave me a whole living town. A town aching and craving to go heavenwards. To the stars. A town desperately hungering for a crown. The crown I've given to it. This is going on forever. Is that so? <laughs> Okay, what is... Okay, Andrew, I gotta know, what is worse? This or the, uh, the, um, f the France sightseeing part of, uh, Mirrors? 
That was entertaining because it's like, what the fuck? Is this ever going to end? It's like, wh where the hell is he going to go next? And it's like, <laughs> this is all a dream. <laughs> I built it from prisms and mirrors. I've managed to focus them to capture the perfect trick of the light and dream. That's right. I am a trick master, the ultimate magician. I focus the aura of magic just like a lens focuses sun rays. And now the town is dying, poisoning my precious wreath, my crystal bud, my focus. So what can your polyhedron really do? I cannot put it into words. <laughs> you need a lot of fucking words here, pal. <laughs> I'm just not interested in sightseeing, okay? God. I cannot put it into words. It's only been tested by the children, yet. If you ask them, they tell you that it brings their dreams to life, plays their games, daydreams with them, transports them into someone else's fantasies. Heard anything about it? I have. But the canes could tell you even more. They tell you this is a vessel that can hold the most precious substance of all, the focus of a soul. But even they cannot understand what they've been granted. Neither can I, and I will never be able to repeat it. I'm dead. So, this is suicide? It is. See, I was smart enough to take the designs of my creation to the parting. Give them to me, as a keepsake. Old boy, I am thirsty, old boy. Bring me five bottles of Twyrene, and you can have the designs. No one would be able to decipher them anyway, and if they do, no one would build it. Fine. I'll bring them to you. Wait for me, and don't do anything stupid. I'll be back soon. Already oh, I'll be check my pockets right quick. Yeah, so, uh... Where, I guess they're under drug, yeah. So we have three out of five. We'll figure oh, it out. Oh shit, we still need two more. I thought we had enough, like, right now. Uh, yeah, if I thought about it. But the bar's been, like, randomly closed a lot of times we've checked. So okay. let, me, let me check on this. See so where we can get some. I'm, I might be Googling. Make sure, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Pathologic Day 10, Twyrene. Oh, okay, Town Guardsman. Alright, fire. Where is... It was, like, behind him this way. Oof, ouch. Oh, okay. oh, oh, man, that hurt. Whatever. Yeah, I said health is a resource. All right, so be so careful as you're some... stepping around. You don't want to dr drop off an incline and suddenly just insta-die. Mm -hmm. Can I trade with these people? No. Uh... Kevin, I have a quick, uh, maybe not too quick, but uh, I have a D&D question for you. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, is it is it really fun to play with a battle realm? Like, because D&D, being a dungeon master and player is about kind of battle of the wits, right? I mean, yeah, there's some uh, dice, dice roll involvement as well. But if there's a, if the player know how to counter any trap you have or and then this happened to that happen and player counter with something something that doesn't that kill the joke or kill the fun to i don't so i i know some people who think uh, i'm trying to voice this as diplomatically as i can i oh, know okay. some i know some people who think about DD &D how you think about DD, &D, and i don't like that i prefer to think of DD &D as like collaborative storytelling where you uh, and the DM are like the players in the DM are collaborating on how to basically create scenarios that are like fun for everybody, I guess. 
I prefer not to think of D&D as, like, the players versus the DM. Hmm. I only thought of this question because I want the, one of the Isekai manga about the, uh... Not about D&D, but like, heavily influenced by D&D. Has pulled some something interesting tactic to kill the monster, I'm like... Hmm, I wonder... And then, you know, that's what the Goblin Slayer is also about, like... It's goblins are being, like... Um... Being smart about whatever dungeon master, quote unquote, dungeon master, which is, I guess, the evil god, is being smart about it and then always finding a way against it. So I'm like, would it be fun as a dun uh, dungeon master to play with that kind of character? Just a thought that I had. That depends on the play group. Um, and I mean, the right DM, you can uh. like make anything work. Mm. It's gotta role play it. Okay, guess who else in town sells Twirene? Your mama. Got me there. Gunman? Little oh. children? Gunman! <laughs> How could I think of that? The me from The Simpsons. Let me guess, Fire Cloud right here. No? <gasps> Amazing. It's gonna sh surprise you out of nowhere. No. Yeah, it's just like a... Just like those horror movie. You expect it, it doesn't come out. The b but, oh, I guess it's not here, and that's when it comes out. Classic horror movie moments. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, it's a fucking war zone with rats and killers everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> this person is sick. No, don't blame yourself. That's we we've, we've read this all a few times. <laughs> all right, so we're spending one of our yeah. helios here. tongue is long enough to cut his I need weapons grief uh buy some extra twirene buy all 18 of your rifle rounds holy crap 972 the only way to break even on that is to only use the revolver on the uh, pyromaniac guys Yeah, we really needed to fuck over all those people for all that money, huh? I could just sell the vaccine for like an enormous amount of money. Tempting, tempting. Uh, so I haven't figured out what the hell to do with these yet, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay. All right. All right, Peter, I got your drugs. Oh, neat. So, <clears throat> recent event with, um, Bitcoin related. It's our favorite subject. Uh, here we go. Can't go a week without it. Hell yeah. So I guess some some people who hacked it back in 2016, a shitload of Bitcoins just recently tried to launder it. Oh, and we're yeah. in Instacot. So they tried to cash out 4.6 billion in Bitcoin buying NFTs, gold, and other cryptocurrencies. And now the FBI has all 3.6 billion Bitcoin. An additional 1 billion seized. 
So FBI is one cent richer, one dollar richer than. The Department of Justice is setting up a website for anyone who had their Bitcoin hacked to recover it. <laughs> and you get your Bitcoin back. I want my Bitcoin back, Bitcoin. Oh, fuck. Help! Burn the rat! I still don't oh. see how some... Well, that's a discuss of, discussion for later, I guess. Anything Bitcoin related. It gets too deep. Bitcoins go up on this no, no, uh, news? Let's see. Sure. It went down. Bitcoin's down. Damn. So, I guess some people are... People are getting the uh, <coughs> Steam Deck reviews. Or tech, tech reviewers are getting the Steam Deck. To try uh -huh. it on all time. Has, has anyone, has, has you guys actually seen some videos regarding it? Not anything recent. I don't watch videos. Not even this. Okay, you watch porn, I get it. Uh, I mean, so far it's you know, I mean it's kind of embargo-ish, so I haven't seen anything bad, you know, because they had nobody done the stress test or anything like that. Like, how long can you run it with one charge or something like this? Yeah. Not not just any, not just a number of stats on the website, but actual, you know, trial, real-time trial. Sorry, pockets pumpkin. Look it up! Oof. I guess you want to go to the left now when you exit. Hey! Here you see, I bought I brought the Tyreen. Now give me the designs. Here you go. Carefully or they'll catch fire. Have you seen how it burns, by the way? It's a fewer work. The flame of deep green, navy, purple, crimson, black. You're going to see it now. Ah, I have a better idea. Really? Maria asked me to tell you something. She did? What? She will become a mistress and to construct your latest invention. She gave me her word. Maria. Maria is turning into a chrysalis now. Who knows what kind of butterfly will flutter out from it. And by the way, Maria is yours to unite with now, not mine. I'll help her, Peter. Do not give up so easily. Come out of the pyre. Okay. So did that work? we do it? Do we save him? Uh, there's nothing else. I figured using Miria would have worked there. Okay, go away from here. Yeah, here we go. You read the top. This place is memorable to me. It was after making this ruin that I had an epiphany and realized how to erect my tower heavenwards. And the mask. The mask came into my possession after my unsuccessful appointment as Master of Cremations. So here I am, doing my job. Go away from here, Peter. Maria is waiting for you. First I'll go to my place. I don't want to I don't want to see anyone in this condition. Too much has burned to ashes inside of me. Too much has evaporated into thin air. I want to drown myself in a new flame. There are soldiers in your house. They found out where you live. I'm in the clear. There is nothing for me to be afraid of. That's what you think. What if they confused you for your brother? No. Go in peace, Daniel, or give the designs back. Wait. Tell me, Peter. What have you constructed? What is it? Have you been inside the tower? I have. It's a multi-dimensional space. It is turned unto itself. It has no surfaces, borders, or bounds. It has no mass. It has no end. I don't believe you! Then go and see for yourself. Just let the children teach you how to get back. 
This is a sensation, a groundbreaking discovery that will turn the world upside down. The discovery is not mine. I have nothing to be proud of, really. I've stumbled across it by accident. Moreover, I don't really understand how it works. I've studied my own calculations inside out, and I still don't get it. Something's off. But what? That's the question. You will find the answer one day, Peter. We fucked this. Uh, so I'm going to load game, because I'm not super... I'm not as happy as I could be. I don't know how to... I, I thought turning that... I thought using Maria would resolve that. I don't know. Well, it didn't. So let's try his bro. Yeah. I mean, she's also equal parts nuts, so... I guess everybody kind of is in this town. All right, so I figure we want to say stop. I have a better idea because it's the only way to kind of continue this conversation. Yeah. Go help your brother. Do you know that he's been arrested? He's killed several people trying to help you. <laughs> That's fine. I've been suffering for 10 years because of him. So you don't care? No one does. I do, I do care. Soon, I'll prove that to you in practice. Okay, I also... <laughs> oh, no! New game! Start New game. over. Iron Man run. <laughs> Dude, this game would be fucking terrible for an Iron Man run. <laughs> Pugas spawns directly on top of you. Start over again. What popularized that term? I don't know. Put this up. Okay, brought the Twirene. Oh. Better idea. Let's bring up Maria. Wait, did that work? Uh, it's the same final little bitty there. You are delirious. I guess we're okay. He's going to try to go back to his home. So it comes from the Iron Man Triathlon. Okay. Alright, so hopefully uh, he's postponed his su suicide. I don't know what else to do <laughs> with regard to that. Okay, through the fire. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make a new save. Okay, so we have the blueprints. To the Inquisitor. <laughs> food man. No. Curse you, food man. The association with permadeath is from though. The Iron Man triathlon is a test of endurance. I do know that people die doing the triathlon. It's like Wait. 17 or 18 hours straight of just doing like yeah. 
push yeah, your aware. body to the absolute fucking limit. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware of the Iron Man competition. I know there have been many people who have died in the process of trying it. Yeah. So I guess, so that's, I guess that's, the association. that's the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, explode you, dude. Get him, get him, get him. Soft head. Yes! I got a soft head, uh, skull. Oh my god, please die already. Oh, yeah, cookies. Crunchies. You might need that to heal your health a little bit. Oh, that doesn't Whoa. heal health. Bullshit. Food doesn't close your wounds, Andrew. I learned anything from Kirby. Food heals all ills. Just suck in all the food in the immediate distance into your gullet. Yes! Delivering these designs. Is that like our only quest right now? Um, we're, not, we're not stacking like a shitload of quests like before. Uh, we're waiting on a letter for one quest and the other quest we did pick up, but we haven't really been in that area the yet. Commander and I haven't held counsel, even though it's against the rules. I'm counting on you, doctors. I'm listening to an equal bachelor. Here are the blueprints. Hopefully you'll treat them with utmost care. They will probably become a bibliographical rarity even before the author passes away. That's out of the question. From what I know about the author, he doesn't have much time left. A wild lifestyle, heightened anxiety, alcohol, and hallucinogen hallucinogen addiction, obsessive phobias, remarkably intensive neural stress. But yet you're implying something else when mentioning his short lifespan. What? No. As you are probably aware, yesterday I took that man under my protection and averted a threat to him. Admittedly, I also imply that people like him are always in danger. Always. Tell me, how long have you known that man? That last part actually true? Yes. Are we bullshitting? No, uh, th that was brought up in conversation with his brother. Okay. I'm under that route. His brother and I were peers back when we were in university. Has he ever told you the similarities the two of you bear? That you could end up in a position similar to his and vice versa? That being an inevitable victim of circumstances, the only fate available to a genius? I ask you to be precise. A lot of things hinge on your answer. Like, some of these conversations are just, like, so fucking intense. <laughs> Especially with this lady. <laughs> that was a disturbing question. No. He never said that. Well, let us look at the blueprints, then. What do you think? What do you I, think of the polyhedron, Andrew? I... I don't understand any of this shit with... Fucking like <laughs> hit land that we were in. What the, I, I don't even know what any of that shit was. <laughs> this game is so bizarre. <laughs> this one, like, I feel like I'm starting to understand what is happening. It just there is a wrench into everything. <laughs> but the last thing is way too dismissive. I'm not selecting. Yeah, that. fair. Whatever it is, it is a world class sensation. I think it's fair. Is that what you think? Well, I'll go have a look. Go now. And only come back here after a while. Preferably tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Everything is in plain sight. It doesn't require a thorough study to see. Bye. Okay, let's... Alright, main quest done. Alright, time to go... Drink a bunch of water and pass out. <laughs> okay, so we need to check out the bone steak lot. Yeah. We need to check out the bone steak lot, and we 
need to wait for a letter that has not come yet. Has not come yet. Okay. Uh, I will just do that. Uh, how are my vitals doing? I could eat. Let's eat. Bread. Okay. Okay. F5. So I know the general area of, like, where I want to be. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was, like, shooting at that rat. Okay. Good. Heal it. Okay. So. Oh, oh. Huh? Uh, what? Something weird about the map, Andrew? <laughs> like a bowl. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess it's a bull market, not a bear market. There you go. Yeah, there are stocks in there somewhere. The music for this side of town is just such a banger. Some good music in this game. The music in Pathologic 2 is really good too. Different than this, but very good. Bada bada bada. Okay, hopefully some cookies. Give me some cookies. Hurry up and die, damn it. Ooh. Nope. I gotta say, this game is just great at always making you feel on edge. Never know when a fart, fart cloud is gonna spawn right on you and just infect you instantaneously. And now you have flamethrower men nearby ready and willing to just burn you to death. Yeah. Our food is full. Definitely a welcome change compared to how we started yesterday. I think that was yesterday in game. Uh, man. Oh yeah, I can pick up bottles now. Very good. Gold ring. Thank you. What's up, dude? Bandages. I have used a bunch of them today, you know, for walking through fire. Little girl. Got any shiny metal things? Oh, not the kind I'm looking for. Little boy. There we go. Uh... Give me some razor blades, kid. Give me some bullets. Thanks.
I'm headed to the Burn Snake lot, by the way. That's uh, where the uh, the theater guy's quest is. Whoa. Okay. Oh god. Damn, gotcha. Hey, where the hell am I? Alright, I can accept that. Well, I guess it can go a straight line, but it can't, like, turn corners. That's good to know. The, uh... Whoa, it looked like he was, like, trying to destroy the cloud. Get on you, buddy. Better luck next time. <laughs> this game is wild, man. To, like max out your immunity if you're gonna try shit like that. Look, it worked for the fire, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, let's take some drugs. Oh god, why? Damn! I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know if that, like, infected me, infected me, but it sure did make a lot of sound. Can't even look away. Still coming for you. You start moving the moment yeah. you spawn. Maybe do. Oh, if it's like if it goes in a straight line, maybe you just need to like, like. No, the the, the angel ones are more powerful. Advanced fart clouds. Go inside. Yeah, reset that shit. Oh, I got a letter. Oh, okay. Katarina's unexpected invitation. I beg you to believe what I say. These recent events are monstrous. My hands tremble so much I can hardly write. He is here again. Come to the rod, please. I need you. Katarina Sabarova. So she's like right fucking here. Hold up. <laughs> We're picking up our last side quest. It is as if my temples were pierced with needles. Do something. I do something, all right. There you are, Bachelor. I have been waiting for you. Waiting to reveal to you. Nobody else knows the secret, and I'd never tell them. Who else could I reveal it to but you, the man that only came here for its sake? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who I am talking about? Again, your words make no sense. 
just like when we met for the first time. Simon is alive. I just saw him suddenly appear at the crucible. I sense him, you know. I can't ignore it. I woke up, but the feeling refused to let go of me. He's there. He is still there. It was all a lie, an illusion. Reuben will back up my words. Did I pick the second thing? Is that just fail us out of the quest? Probably. <laughs> my god, you're doing it again! That's it. I have had enough. I presume you saved. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Reuben must tell the truth. He never lies if you make him swear on his master's name. He will tell you then that he had never dissected the body. Simon is at the crucible. It was all an illusion, a deception. You say you can feel his presence, but if Simon is alive, why weren't you feeling it all this time? Surely he couldn't have risen from the dead. I do not know myself. I would never mislead you. Why would I? We the Sabarovs are done for. We were the first to suffer Clara's punishing hand. Whoever wins, we shall never again rise from the ashes. And still, I say to you, he is there. This is for you. Simon is, to a certain extent, a concept. That much I have concluded by now. Which means your words can be taken very much as an allegory. No. No, that's exactly why the canes are so abhorrent. Any fantasy that is only the right to exist in the realm of dreams, they give substance. It's as if they're just bringing all those illusions, all the vastness available to the human imagination, into this world. I don't even with this lady. <laughs> Fine, but why are you so upset? I beg you, on my knees, go to him. See for yourself that he is alive, and let the Inquisitor rend the canes to pieces. Aglaia will be happy, because the only good thing in her is her hatred of the canes. Oh, I guess it's a good thing for her then, okay. Is that so? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Oh, how generously shall she reward you for the news, for exposing the villains on the eve of everyone's doom. A truly heroic deed. So why won't you do it? I ask for so little. I was going to visit the Crucible anyway. Perhaps there really is no smoke without fire. Okay, so I guess we're visiting Reuben. Whoa, she's like shaking some dice there. Yeah, I, I think she's like praying or something. I wonder what she rolled. Uh, Snake eyes, bitch. Okay, so I think we'll still go to the bone steak lot first. Cool. Save. Cool. So that's like through these houses. And yeah, I can take it right here. But then we're returning to where we got our first gun. Ah, memories. So, something is happening here. Ah! What's up, fellas? Do not touch! For within Suwak has bows been cast out! And so, here he appeared! Alive! Alive still! That means spirits are still speaking to us. What is this creature? Where did you get such a thing? I think that was the image we saw earlier. They say it was brought at night, but they also say not a word about it. And it's no coincidence, I say. On whose orders? On whose orders? 
beats us. There, that smart man over there. Ask him. <laughs> Let's hear what the smart man has to say. It's just the smart man. Everyone's kind of... Over here, listen, people. Hearken to heaven's sign, for this is a parable. Listen to my explanation, fair people. Or explication, fair people. For this is a simple sign for us to... No, who is to blame for all our woes, for all our suffering? And who would that be? People, gather around. Or better yet, call for your neighbors and relatives and nearest and dearest. For the meaning behind this is as follows. The Cain's Tower is killing our town. The bull here represents the town, and the sharp stake, the shameful stake, is a symbol of the Cain's vile creation, their obscene philosophizing. What's gotten into you, dear sir? Wipe them out, the monsters. Simon was a monster, for his sins have brought this pestilence upon us, and Maria, his granddaughter, would soon reach the stars and ply us to her will with her magics, just as her mother Nina used to do in, in days past. She must be killed, torn apart and thrown for the people to relish. That's it. I am shutting you up in the most reliable matter known to men. We're going to do kill him? Or what's happening? <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. Uh, Angry of the soldiers, I guess? Okay, so I guess we just go back to Mark about it. Uh, so on the way there, we'll check out Ruben, see what he's up to. Gotta go up to go down. Which way? Hugh has been muted for a long ass time now. I was I was wondering what his deal was. You worried? He was just vacuuming forever. Oh, did he say he was vacuuming? No. <sighs> survive that somehow. So we haven't spoken to Ruben in a while. Wonder what he's up to. 
I know G here and had him fingered for a while as like the uh, the man who's responsible for the entire thing. Oh no, wait, specifically he's the one who got all the people in the church sick. That's right. Remember that? G here was like Reuben is the guy. I remember who the hell Reuben is. Is the guy with the the well? No, that's uh, Vlad the Younger. Ruben oh, is right. Ruben is the guy who um, I guess was supposed to be dissecting Simon Kane's body. Uh, uh -huh. We met. A f oh, hey! He he was the really tall guy. Like I feel like you probably remember him most for being really tall. Hey, G, how you doing? I just had I just had dinner. Oh, what was for dinner? Oh, uh, what the f- Hold on, what is actually the name of this? Because I don't know, what is it in English? Where the hell are you going this town now? Okay. Sorry, I have to look up a name. Yeah, <clears throat> just the ingredient. Yeah, but it's just a Korean uh, wheat noodle. Korean wheat noodle. Okay, cool. What was in the noodle? Carrot, zucchini. Ooh. Copy and paste the Wikipedia. Okay. So is he here now? No. I had like three rats following me, so. We're looking for a Reuben sandwich? Yeah. I just got posted. Al cooks you. Yeah. Oh, I just had some chicken curry last night. Or, uh, for dinner today. One with a co worker. Last time I had curry, I, I've had curry only two other times. First time I was at a Thai place where the lady was listing it off the, the temperatures like mild, hot, very hot, Thai hot, and I'm like, well, you made the decision for me. And Thai hot was, I, I ate it all. Oh my god. It was pretty damn hot to the point yeah. that it was a very tasty. It was just hot. Yeah. I feel and like then, we've had this exact conversation before, but like, I yeah. love spicy food, but only up to the point where it like, doesn't ruin like the flavor of a dish. Right, I want to be able to taste it. That's why yeah. I do not understand those people. Oh, this guy, like, he's our yeah. friend. Yes, Jihoon. Oh, I guess that's why I don't understand those people, like, you know, that Korean uh, spicy chicken noodle, bulldog popcorn. You see the ch challenges from time to time on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Spicy Korean noodle challenge? I'm like, I don't... Some people enjoy it, I, I don't get it. Because that thing is spicy, like how do you enjoy spicy, you know? Well, that, that's burning your... Well, they're heart. doing it as a challenge, <laughs> so... Yeah, no, but I'm talking about... I only brought it up to YouTube because, you know, if you're not aware what the hell spicy that is, just look it up, but yeah. Oh, yeah. For those people, I'm talking about the, the people who actually buy those and enjoy it. You know, every day. I'm like, how do you eat that every day? You know, that's not being mm -hmm. tasty. That's just you want to kill yourself. Spicy, you know. So, yeah, that's why I don't like any spicy food. That's like, there's a delicious, you know, like, uh, flav flavorful spiciness versus, oh my god, I want to cut off my tongue. Painful spicy, which I don't. That's not. I'm. I'm not a big fan of those. Yeah. Well, you just get to a point where all you can taste is the spice, and you like yeah. lose the taste of whatever you're eating. Exactly. That's why it stops being enjoyable for me. Well, some people are into it, but I don't, I'm not into it. All right, let's talk to Reuben. Let's table this uh, for when Reuben and Kevin has to keep reloading. They let me go, but it can't be. Georgi was supposed to put me to death. And your transgression is not so great, colleague. What? 
Why would have? Hello. Why would he have put you to death? Why blasphemy, of course? Or do you still not realize the fate that befell Simon? Tell me the truth, Reuben. Is Simon alive? What do you mean? Simon is dead. Certainly dead now. Although he was alive for all the while that he was thought to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't even know if I care enough about it, stupid lady to say that first thing. Thank you. Your word is sufficient. Does that end the quest? Let me let me see something. Yeah, let's 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 do a top answer. <laughs> All right. I, I was kind of presuming that to probably be the case. Katarina Sabarava came back from another sojourn with the spirits and declared that Simon has arisen in the crucible just now. She's hysterical. Huh, well, Katarina is. That Clara did something to her, took her power and her crown as a mistress. Are you certain that she said that? It's impossible. I broke Simon down into tiny particles with my own hands and turned him into the white vaccine. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> they fire like a Haruken at him or something? The vaporizer? How are you certain that the man whose body you took was Simon Cain? You think I don't know what Simon looked like? You think his greatness, his noble visage, is comparable to his brother or anyone else? After all, if you knew, if it wasn't his superhuman blood, who else could fight the disease for so long and almost beat it, even if at the cost of lethargy? Whose? Can you tell me? Understand that in all my time here, I have never, not even once, seen Simon. The only man I hoped to meet here. I never saw him alive, never saw him dead. What do you expect me to believe? <laughs> Dude, Daniel's just done. He's just fucking done. He's so tired of this. <laughs> Fine, ask at the Crucible. Since they let me go, they clearly don't think of me as either a murderer or a blasphemer. Let them explain where Simon is. I've said all I can. By the name of your master, Ruben, answer me. Did you tell the truth? It's all true. I broke Simon down into particles. Anything that couldn't be used to make the vaccine, I burned. There is no mistake. Can't you see? Only that wondrous organism could produce the white vaccine. The one that's still keeping hundreds of people alive. I give you my word. Very well. Then my path takes me to the crucible once again. This is nine days ago, when your master directed me there. Okay. Next <laughs> quest, oh. Jesus Christ. Alright, I was- so, what I wanted to say about the curry thing was like, alright, I had that kind of a negative experience with curry, but I wanted to give it another try, so I tried to make my own, and it sucked super hard. But tonight, I went out to, um, a restaurant with my co-worker. And I asked the guy, when, um, like, is this hot? Is this hot? Like the chicken curry? He's like, not so much. And I'm like, all right, spice it up. Cause I can always ask him to spice it up. And it came out, and his thing is fucking delicious. Mm. Yeah, just the right amount of hot. Like it was sufficiently hot. It was clearing my sinuses and everything, but it wasn't oh, yeah. like, like in a. This is too hot to appreciate, kind of way. Very tasty. There you go. That's my curry story. It's always a kind of like happy medium when it comes to spicy shit. This fight in the streets. Don't waste another one. Bam! These guards still drop shit if you don't kill them. Oh, <laughs> 
bow. Had to beat him to the punch there. Oh, dude had some fucking raw meat on him. What the fuck? Oh, sweet. Scarf that shit down, dude. I should wait till he blew himself up, then it'd be cooked. Alright, we're, we're seeing what Mark Immortel uh, thinks about all this. Uh, Poor shit going on at the Ben Steak lot. We have sufficient. Never mind. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe I'll just go right to the uh, the the town hall. Ask there. Soldier man. My arms are <clears throat> okay. Arms. Yeah, you gotta move your arms around a little bit, dude. Get the circulation going. I can't just gotta get all stiff. Oh, you know what? I haven't gotten his letter yet. He's supposed to give me a letter and then I talk to him. So that might be part of it. But right, are we just gonna wait around, or we got something else to do? Wait, did I? No. Some fuckery happened with saves, or did I, like, not do enough for that quest? Fuck. We did skip that one quest yesterday. Hopefully it wasn't important. Whatever, let's, let's go check out the canes again. Like, every time something like that happens, you can see, like, my mouse to wiggle, like, I get, like, jump scared by it. Like, oh shit. Gotta herd the rats around in a wide circle. Okay. What? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! My god. <laughs> Town is once you fucking dead. Haruspex rescued Grace from Changeling's plots. It's most likely Capella's doing. Haruspex. That's for pronunciation. Power specs, yeah. I just said a different. Huh. I said Haru specs. Ah, yeah, whatever. Haru's that storm. 
Actually, there is no reason for you to come by <clears throat> to see me today, for I am a chrysalis. Maria, answer me. Maria, are you aware that I have always been completely honest with you? I am, and Daniel, you are a man of honor. Maria, tell me. Maria, have you always been frank with me? You are the only person I've always been frank with, and Daniel. This is probably because our meeting was so strange, and we have spent too little time together. You are the only one I've always been honest with, and I will keep being honest with you and Daniel. I don't want to lie to you. Maria, tell me. Is it true that Simon is alive? <laughs> you see her face change? Not yep. quite. It's complicated. But you're not going to believe me anyway. It's a pity that you've come to know our family at this horrible time. None of us is in tune with their true nature these days. Hopefully you haven't yet talked to... Haven't been to the right wing. The wing where my father used to live. Going on with you all, Maria mysticism. I can only tell you that you should trust us, but if you would rather abandon us now and go over to the winner's side, then you should leave, rather than watch us perish. Mysticism never made it out of oblivion. What in the world are you talking about? I think that we should say the other answer. Alright. Katarina is preparing an attack on you. She will use the imaginary murder of Simon to claim that your family is who stands behind the plague. Our family is staring it in the face. The plague is an attack on us. It was us, not anyone else, who have become its main victims. You will see. Katarina already has, which is why she's running rampant. She's already lost her power. She has transferred it to someone else, and I don't mean Clara. Katarina is also planning to seek the Inquisitor's support in a trial for you. We are innocent before our town. Nobody has ever done so much for the people as we have. Just wait some more until I awaken, and I shall explain it to you. I trust you, but would those who want to see you fall do likewise? All right, talk to my de talk to my dear to my father. Just don't be surprised by anything, and do not ask unnecessary questions. He's a bit out of it, but they can, he can offer good advice. Fine, I'll do just that. Is there anything else we can say? Yes. No, but she you are yeah. truly a beautiful woman, Maria. Okay, cool. Put a smile on that face. Put a smile on that face. You wanna know how I got these scars? <laughs> I guess it gives a different explanation each time he said that. Did he? Okay. Yep. Yeah. He makes up everything from him is bullshit. Okay, Georgie's uh, locked. No lockpicks. Fucked up. I don't think. I thought we got a, I I think we had a key to every house. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to have a key to every house. Whatever. It's a bullshit. Master key. Hello, friend. What? <laughs> My consciousness hasn't completely returned to me yet. I can hardly imagine how much must have changed here since then. I need to ask to you a question. That is <laughs> fucking odd as hell. I'm amazed you got that in one try. <laughs> I've, I've had trouble with some of the language here. Ask. I shall answer as clearly as I can. Do you know why ghosts always speak in riddles? It used to puzzle me. After all, I've never felt compelled to resort to allegory in order to draw conclusions from my visions. Now I know the answer. Their consciousness is fragmented. Is it true 
that Simon Kane is alive. But what do you call life? Pain. That's deep, yo. Life is any state of a human being that is different from death. Do you know of that which we call memory? Yes, I think I have the basic idea. Why then did you ask me that question about Simon? Katarina was in a frenzy. She is convinced that Simon is at the Crucible. Ah, so that's why. Tell me, did Katarina only talk about Simon? Only him? And you say she was in a frenzy? Did she not notice the presence of another person at the Crucible, the very thought of whom should make the girl tremble? No. She only spoke of Simon. So you want to know the truth about Simon. So be it. You will. The truth is that Georgi Kane, who so ardently desired eternal life for his brother, has committed himself entirely to Simon's memory. He is imbued completely with memories of him. That is what Katarina saw, but she is very sloppy with her visions. Why the fuck is that the only option? <laughs> This isn't this isn't right. I want to say I don't fucking understand. I'm beginning to think I don't understand. If Katarina starts spreading rumors of Simon's return, tell them Georgi has gone mad, that he imagines himself to be Simon, and Katarina is sensing those waves. Talk to Georgi. Let him confirm his consent to being presented as a madman. Oh, I love that. You mean he must himself agree that I paint him as insane? Yes, go to him. Talking to him will open your eyes to the truth. You are a perceptive man after all. <laughs> Help us. Such rumors would be very inopportune. And please accept some money. It will be useful in shutting up a few particularly big mouths. You know what I'm doing here? <laughs> you really have no idea how much has changed. The cost of shutting up mouths is now several times greater. Okay, he would have given us 5,000, but you got 7,000 out of them. Damn. The negotiator. Yeah. I always, I always level the shit out of speech and barter and fall out. Hell yeah. Okay, so <laughs> now, ideally, we can talk to Georgi. Georgi. This should be good. Tell me what you want, and I will tell you who you are. What do you want? I just want to talk to you, and ask for your blessing in a certain difficult affair. Yes, you are exactly as I imagined. My boy, when Isidore described you to me, I knew that this is the way I would like my heir to be. Alas, I have never begotten one. I am not the first Cain to lack a son, and regrettably not the last. Why? I think this is the price we pay for leaving too much life in our wake. Life that is lush, blooming, unpredictable, and unrestrained. The soul that could have belonged to our children is dissolved in our man-made legacy. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck to go with this conversation. <laughs> Judge! There is a rumor in the town that Simon is alive, and his supposed death was a ruse set by the Canes to disguise their involvement in this plague outbreak. The truth about Simon Kane is the kind of truth that may only be explained to those ready to accept it. They want to know what happened to his body. Very well. Simon Kane was afflicted with the sand plague. His body has been torn into droplets and fibers. It's a pity that now we that we now cannot produce his remains before the non-believers. What are they to find comfort in now? The news that you have gone mad, Judge. Do you believe that I've gone mad? 
My well, second option is true, but I don't know if that's the right tag to take here. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you have changed, and I'm surprised. Here is my final request. Tell the Inquisitor that Georgi Kane has gone insane, and that our family is in preparation for collective suicide. That should do. Perhaps she will even leave you alone for another day or two. But that's not true, is it? Not entirely true, but true enough to satisfy a vigorous mind like hers. Temporary lives will depart, so that the internal lives will be reborn. Go now, my boy. You are no mystic, after all. I shall fulfill your request. So, this answer is interesting. <laughs> so, I mean, I it's, guess it's we're, nice. We're, we're, we're kind of talking to Simon Cain, I guess? I don't believe that. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to decide who is more done with with like this town. You or Daniel himself? <laughs> Why not both? Yeah. Oh, more done. I don't know. I mean I still wanna know I'm still interested in what's happening. It's just these characters are just too much sometimes. There's little time left, and I still need to do so much. I'm listening to an equal bachelor. Have you already been told about the canes? God, these days I'm told about nothing but the canes. Or do you mean something really special? I have extremely valuable information. Where do you imagine Simon Kane currently is? Partly in heaven and partly in the ground, I suppose. Why? Do you have reason to believe otherwise? You should know that Giorgio Kane has gone insane. He believes himself to be Simon. He will possibly die soon. Victor, too. I don't believe that. Out of the question. I don't even want to hear about it. Don't make me disappointed, I beg of you. I have told you what I intended to. Draw your own conclusions. Is that so? Well, that changes everything. I will, of course, draw my own conclusions. In fact, I'm doing so right now. The information is indeed extremely valuable. I will even allow myself to appraise the precise price tag. However, it wouldn't be very nice for two crafty people like us to outwit each other. Wouldn't you agree? I have my own opinion, and I'll remain entitled to it. With your kind permission. 7,000 more smackers. Uh, can we talk to her any about the blueprint? Oh, right. We, okay, yeah, let's do that. I haven't slept for three nights in a row. I what? don't think I'll manage another one. Damn, this is crazy, sucks. lady. <laughs> You're gonna fucking die of exhaustion. What is your initial opinion on the blueprints? Uh, my initial opinion is that of amazement. As far as I understand, such a structure simply cannot hold. All of this could only work if the chamber is floating in a weightless state. Those charts are nothing but an intellectual fancy, a mind game, like a perpetuum mobile. Peter said this exact same thing. So how does it all stay in balance? Especially with a thousand children inside. I don't understand. I was hoping you would explain that to me. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, we didn't screw ourselves? All right, good. Screw ourselves out of what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've screwed you over a bunch in this. Yeah. Of course, you're reload. Whoa. Okay. All right. So I guess we'll try the bone steak lot again. Let me just double check everything. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, I shouldn't have put my my trust in Aglaya. Contrary to what I expected, the conversation with her did not set me at ease. In her eyes, I caught a glimpse of the strange flame that was illuminating Victor's gaze as we spoke. Did someone say they were related? I think I'm going insane as well. 
So there you go. That's the that's the result Here. of that quest. Yep. All right. And some money. The Bachelor, Daniel Dankowski, has taken psychic damage. Ooh! Free bandage and a, a tourniquet? Earth has some food or something, I don't know. No, nah, it's gotta be drugs. It's for each category. Oh! The, bandage, the bandages are better. Oh no, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I guess I missed something at the bone steak lot. Shame. Oh, is this the thing? I think so, yeah. Damn. Was it anything important? Uh, can't pass the quest. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Just probably gotta talk to more people. Did we? No, no letter. Okay. He's lighting himself on fire. Man, town's fucking nuts. Where you turn is just like flames, people shooting at each other, or knifing one another. Or just rifle shots in the background. Oh man, he's, all of his wares have been firmly infected. I don't know if you want to touch them anymore. Oh, oh my god! Told ya! <laughs> Just take that on the chin. The cost of the reload. I'm heading a different path. I'm taking the uh, upper, the northernmost bridge.
I will say this. In Pathologic 2, they really ramp up the amount of, like, children you come across, I think. What do you mean, ramp up? There, there's a lot more of them. Yeah, there are far a few between at this point in the game. I don't see as many of them anymore. Everything's so fucked with violent. Yeah. <laughs> the children, rightfully, are not outside. setting a stink cloud. Are you? Little girl. Little girl. Hey, Schmatter, please. Nope. Got some more trucks that we want, though. So I'm wondering, can I can I cheese this in some way? I've heard that I am able to cheese this. So, oh, getting her to reload and all the townspeople vanished. Oh well. Schnauters are we down to? Uh, so we have one Schmouter and four Panacea. You, our friends. They say it was brought at night, but they also say not to say a word about it. And it's no coincidence, I say. Wait, we've already had this. Hold on. Let's try that. Uh, 
Okay, we haven't seen this one. They say to say it's an omen. They say that'll make the soldiers go away. Can't make heads or tails of the whole deal. Sorry. I'll get to the bottom of this. Diving in right now. Starting to pass out. <laughs> and I pass out. My vision is like getting blurry and it's getting hard for me to like concentrate. Was it rope day today? Yeah, I was tired. Mm. Stressful. I mean, everything's good, but like, I had a presentation scheduled in between, like, like start the day of working out, phone call. Go to a presentation, phone call, have her ride along with me, who attended the presentation, and I've got a showing her area in the lab while also having the new rookie assigned to me briefly. And like, every few moments, I have to stop what I'm doing to go take care of something else and then come back. Are you gonna pull the move on rookie? Rookie, listen. Just tired. Do as I say, not as I do. She did well. Um, I was very happy with her because I had her, she was nervous, and I kind of pulled on her with. I uh, got pulled on me early on too, which was uh, I had some stuff to fingerprint, and so I was like demonstrating how to do it on a simpler object, real evidence, and located another print. I'm like, okay, this one's actually pretty good too. I want you to practice now a couple times, and then you're lifting this print. And I had her do it, and she did just fine, no issues. Is there actually uh, product for instructions? What? Is there actually product for like practicing fingerprint lift? Because like. You can. The real evidence is kind of too risky, isn't it? So once you, like, if you mess it up, you you won't be able to pick it up anymore. I mean, yeah, but as long as you follow my instruction, yeah, I got oh. no problems. I know how to do. I've been doing that shit for years. Someday my prints will come. My practice method is always just like make like fake evidence, just get you know with the actual prints on them. Yeah, Kevin, your prints will be on the victim's hand, not the perpetrator's hand. <laughs> what? Nope, it's matter. I, I said one day my prince will come. I I made a funny. Gee, who was mean to me? Their friend's still playing with fire. Oh, darn it. Reload again. Oh, did you see the new, uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> you know what's coming, but the two Kevin. I need to did make you... it, I need to make this a sound cue where it's like jail bars, like, clinking shut, you know? Oh, you yeah. Should. Um, did you read the new Yakuza reincarnation chapter? Yeah. I consistently believe that if an animation studio picked it up uh -huh. and did justice to the art yeah. in motion, like not Ooh. just 3D generated or like crappy couple frames per minute kind of animation, but like actually doing it justice, it would probably be one of the most interesting animations to watch because the art wanna... is so unique. You might want to look into, I mean, so you might, it might be possible if they leave it to the Top tier anime uh, animation studio because uh, like what's top tier is Bones still good? I don't know like what's good anymore. Uh, Ufobo, Ufobo, they they did uh, some face day night, uh, but Demon lately Slayer. they're yeah that's what I was actually about to bring up. Uh, they actually uh, utilize two three D into the two D scene very well and they make it so that it's not so obvious. For example. There's a training scene, not not the training oh, arc damn. training. Oh, oh. 
There's a training scene where like the main what? character. Stop wasting bullet, goddammit. I think when they're in their attack animation, you might not be able to hit them. Yeah, that seems like it. There might like be frames where they're in one. Whoa. Not straight for that chords. When we do not find peace of mind in ourselves, it is useless to seek it elsewhere. There is no fate, Bachelor, I say, simply because we are not worthy of having any. I've been to the lot. Did you see it? Was it impressive? <laughs> what is it? What am I supposed to make of it? You just wanted me to see it, didn't you? Hmm. First of all, I have to confess that this is not my handiwork. On the contrary, it is a direct attack on my interests. It never even occurred to me that this could make an impression on you, let alone a positive one. But I wanted you to see how impressed the mob is. There are several people there, each of them so noisy you could take them for a dozen. Well, yes. You see, the place and the representation are tailored to excite the crowd. Seems like someone wants to gather a mob. And those who gather mobs only do it with a single purpose. They seek to set them on to someone. So who is the target? I think the Canes are. Actually, I don't care in the slightest, but you should. You're at a, you are now at a time point when you cannot afford to not care. You've only got a day and a half left. I want that thing to end because I don't like their style. What about you? I do indeed care. It's dangerous. But how can they be removed from there? The army seems to be the most convenient means to any end these days. Indeed. A truly smart decision, and kind of elegant, too. It's a professional prejudice of mine. I've never viewed an armed crowd as a tool. I, the master of manipulation. You can simply say it's a sanitary hazard, and it will be burned. Although I'm oh. afraid that won't be the end of it. I got we have the royal eye here. We'll see. <laughs> So in the back to the animation studio topic, um, yeah. In the in the Kime, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaba, there's a scene where like main character is training, and then it's one of those training where like the log is just coming at him. But those three logs are actually 3D, and you barely reckon, you barely notice that it's a 3D. Yeah, that'd be nice. That's one good animation. Honestly, um, that suck. I know you hated Demon Slayer, and I cannot push you to watching it, but definitely because of the animation quality, it's getting the popularity for sure. Okay. We have two more days. The choice has to be made the day after tomorrow. This is the order of the powers that be. I hope that in this particular Inquisitor, I would find a friend and not the usual enemy. But no, she has already assigned us a part in her scheme, and my heart tells me it's a dark one. Say, Commander, can I come to you in case of an emergency? I sincerely hope you can. I have to admit, I'm furious. The directive I received from the top brass gave me very broad authority and the right to make strategic decisions. It made no mention of an Inquisitor, and now this. I hasten to report an issue of an utmost importance. There is a riot brewing in the poor districts. Let the Inquisitor deal with that. Riots are right up her alley. I wish no part in it. She won't share information with me, so I won't step onto her turf. I'm not being vindictive. I'd hate to disturb her arrangements. Certain special circumstances are in play, ones directly related to your responsibilities. 
I am responsible for ensuring that the epidemic never spreads from here further. I am also responsible for the lives of my men. That is what I know for a fact. There is a giant decaying animal carcass in the middle of the poorer districts. Do you realize the consequences? I do. It's in the bone steak lot. I see it marked on your map. Hmm. Huh. Here's what I'll do. I'll notify Longin. He's a stalwart officer. A heart burning with passion. He is in command of the Flamethrower Corps. He was assigned to my unit right before this whole affair. So let him perform his duty. As for me, spare me any further details. Very well. Now I can be at ease. Okay, so, done. He's gonna send his burninator ward to burninate the issue. Done. Oh, by the way, this thing with the bull is a major plot point in the uh, Harris Vex route. So, <laughs> look forward to that one when uh, we do another run of this, I guess. Uh, I could burn away my prop. Okay, so we are done for the day. What what time is it? <laughs> it's 4.45. Okay. So I guess we can just like futz around for a little bit, but mostly just gonna kind of have an early end. We're full up on food, we bought all the ammo, we bought all the booze. Anything you want to check up on? Is there any more bullets we can get? Uh, not unless we just like make more kids spawn somehow. Yeah, fuck that then. You, got, you just gotta make more babies. Yeah. Do we need any more food? Do we really try to find any more shops? How the fuck was you Iron Man this game? <laughs> we briefly talked about Iron Man Run. Uh, the Run same way or... you speedrun it, I guess. Oh, we, we have enough time probably that I could show that off. I mean, you already kind of demonstrated how the speedrun shit works. Yeah, you just get all the food and uh, water. Really? You see that shit? Yep, once you're dead. Another reason I think we should just like sleep our way in the next event. Okay. Plus, there's anything else you can think of we can procure. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to be on this side of town. Oh wait, it doesn't really matter because we'll be waking up to see the play. Oh well. be well traveled. I don't think we've slept in this bed yet. I get the achievement for sleeping in every bed. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> you gotta sleep without a post bed to get what? achievement. I was a game developer, I'd put an achievement like that in there. A bed well traveled.
Uh, yeah, man, damn, let's do it. Okay, and I'm having fever heat. <laughs> she died. I did just sleep in her bed, presumably with her. Yeah, that was Tetris <laughs> lady's house. <laughs> oh god, why? Again, what you get for sleeping in that house? Hit, hit. The game doesn't allow the uh, heterosexual sleep together. <laughs> I don't know if I worded it correctly. Save scum the stream. <laughs> oh. you, you should see the super cut I'm making of um like the last like chunk of three days or like I'm trying to think. Uh the I think it was day six or seven. We started off with a half an hour of just constant safes coming. Get it all out of the way here on the on. All right. We're well, done safe loading. Because we begin around midnight, so. Look, there's even another like super cut whenever you save scum. There's a counter in the bottom, and then whenever you save scum, the counter goes up with a ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I I really don't want to go through the effort of making that video. <laughs> and you call yourself a streamer? You lazy. <laughs> Thirty minutes. I need thirty minutes until to self destruct. Uh, so, uh, what do we like about today? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of crazy ass people in this town. Yeah. I think yeah, we got to talk to like all the weirdos. I like that when the uh, the map screen um, spooked you with the fucking bowl thing. Yeah, if you zoom all the way out, you get this like bowl carcass. And, uh, also, there's this screen where it shows you like a side view of the town, I guess. I got a sliver to the left and then um, two uh, tits with like a weird, yeah. Like a town with its roots embedded in a mountainside. Oh, I will tell you that the horror specs version of the map, uh, by this point, um, looks different compared to the uh, the bachelors. Yeah. 
Yeah. I wonder how confusing this game would be if you were to... I don't know, like, would it be more confusing if you start, your, start a new game as a changeling? Oh, so the game does not allow you um, to do oh. so. You can only you can only pick uh, Daniel or Artemy at first, okay. and once you beat the story with either one of them, the changeling becomes available. Oh, one of those games, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Like, now that you play the first two uh, POB now... That for POV number three. Yeah. yeah. Goes. Typically the one that reveals shit you didn't figure out in the other playthroughs. Yeah. Or answers uh, questions. Uh, yeah. Especially today, I'm sure that uh, you've heard a lot of shit about the changeling today that made you go like, huh, I wonder what she's got going on in her route. <laughs> uh, I wonder, I know there are areas, but I just kind of think of one that were like, mystery gets solved or revealed when you play the Number three or something. I'm sure that's a game like that. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that the mystery gets like resolved or revealed. As no, no, no I'm saying. Thing. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like the, the in the other games in general, like. Yeah. I feel like there are games like that, but I just can't think of one right now. Hmm. Before tonight. <laughs> oh God, what was a game? Oh. Line up. Alright. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Alright, here we go. The law of gravity is tragically incompatible with dream catching. Illusions have to be let go of in good time. There is a tricky way to save the specular tower, but there will be casualties. What do you say? The law demands that we remain silent, as if there's nothing to save but this ridiculous tower. There is another tricky way. It allows for saving the town of men, but it also requires a sacrifice to be made. What do you say? The law is impartial. The choice is yours. Is there an alternative way to subvert your ridiculously unfair law? We're just doing our job. Why all the fuss? You've got time. Live some more. World of play. Sounds like we got a choice to make, boys. Coming soon. Multiple choices. Why must I choose? Alright, so what's the worst thing to happen today? Because we talked about the best, kind of. Which is that we just spoke to a bunch of fucking weirdos. Um. Oh, man. I don't think about to pass out. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, call it. I, I won't belabor the point. <laughs> All right, you are free now. <laughs> I off a little bit here. I was like, "All right, he's chaining my, my energy in here." <laughs> it's a namesake. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, farewell. Farewell. Ta-ta. See you Friday. Bye. 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 Bye.